Hi, everyone. This is Chrissy, with an update about what's going on. Due to serious health issues, I have been away for a very long time. I still can't speak properly, but I really want to make tutorials again, so I decided to use this computer voice, till I am back to my normal self. It looks like I have met many of you guys on different Discord servers over the last years. I have tons of private messages on Discord, and I don't know when I will be able to answer them. I guess some of you were concerned what is going on with me. I will not go further into this situation, but I also don't want anyone to worry any longer, so I'm posting this update on YouTube. I had to deal with an aggressive kind of cancer over the last years. There were some tumors in my brain which had to be removed in spring 21. I was told it was a long and difficult surgery, and the chances were not so good. I survived but ended up in a coma that lasted more than six months. Waking up from it left me with a lot of issues, and I had to relearn lots of stuff. I have been in hospital for many more weeks till I was able to return home and really start my therapies, to deal with the damages the surgery and a massive brain bleeding, have left me with. I am still in recovery, but doing okay, and it looks like my speech will be back to normal after more weeks of speech therapy. But one big issue still lasts, and that is the fact that I lost part of my long-term memory. My head is stuck back in April 2016. I have no issues remembering stuff, that happened since I woke up three months ago, but everything from that point back to April 2016 is gone. After I talked to a friend I met back in 2019, I had a picture in mind from him riding a bike, and I hoped that would be a trigger and my memory would come back, but so far it has not. The information seems to be there, but I can't access it, and my doctors can't tell if I ever will get that part of my memory back. Just to be clear, I really don't want anyone to pity me. There are so many people who are much worse off than me. The reason I am telling you all this stuff, is I want you to understand why I am still kind of staying away from online life. A few weeks back I started watching some streams again, while I was learning the new Blender UI. On those streams, there are often the same people and I told them what is going on with me. But then somebody joins the stream who doesn't know about my issues yet, and it goes like, Hi Chrissy, long time no see, how are you? Where have you been? Which is nice, because people care about me, but on the other side it feels very awkward for me. You know me, but I have no clue who you are. I am still not used to that, and explaining my issues over and over again, feels weird as well. On Discord there are so many more people, and that is just too overwhelming for me at the moment, so I stay away most of the times. I am sorry about that, but I hope people do understand. I think making tutorials again is a step in the right direction, although I am not able to do the voiceover myself at the moment. The electronic voice might be weird, but it is either that, or don't make tutorials at all. I just hope that my viewers don't mind. So, there will be a tutorial in about two weeks from now. Today is March 3, 2022, and I hope to be back with my own voice in a few months, we will see. But until then it will be this computer voice. Thanks for listening, and stay safe, wherever you are. Have a great time, and happy Blender Ring.